Zuckman, G-L-E-N-N-Z-U-C-M-A-N. Uh, here at CSU Long Beach, I'm a lecturer, mm -hmm. and apparently I'm also the provost of a couple of virtual universities. Oh, awesome. Um, so, you know, talk to me a little bit about what is a virtual university? So there, I've, I've created a couple different ones. In, in some cases, it could be a virtual world mm -hmm. uh, where you have avatars walking around, interacting with each other in, cool. in a 3D space. Yeah. Or I've also, at my home in the past year, hosted about 170 travelers from 58 countries and kind of set up a university we call Runaway University, which a little bit is related to the idea of a gap year between high school and college. Um, I'm finding that students who do gap years seem to come to college with, with much more vision and maturity and, and energy than mm -hmm. students who just keep grinding through their education. So how does, that, how does that help students who are unengaged? Why do you say students are unengaged? I, well, so I teach lower division general education mm -hmm. And a lot of my students are kind of lethargic. They might be reluctant to spend $10 to go to an art museum, uh, but they're happy to spend 300 to go to Coachella. Uh, they might refuse to spend five minutes proofreading their work, but they might spend many, many hours leveling up in a video game. Right. And uh, you know, I dream of, a, of, of an education that is as compelling as you know, rock concerts and video games, and, and we're far, far from there. Um. How would you say you could better engage students? I think for me, better engaging students means empowering students. So right now, we largely have a top-down model. The university tells you what you need. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see students writing their own curriculum, whether it's on the individual course level or the entire degree level. I feel like between Montessori and graduate school is 12 years of rote education, and I'd like empowered students. Um, what does 21st century education look like? And, and so does that include you know, these virtual universities? Is that part of the 21st century education? Yes. I think 21st century education, for starters, it has to acknowledge that Google exists, that Wikipedia exists, that YouTube exists, that MOOCs exist. And rather than trying to discredit them, we need to embrace what they can do and have the university build on top of that. And again, I think more self-directed student learning what are the what are their goals how do we help them get there i like the idea of a coach better really at this point than the idea of faculty how right. can i help you achieve your goals Very good. and a uh, final question uh, how would you start transforming education so i'd love to see a whole k through 12 revolution that's pretty big uh, but on a much smaller level take the individual student in the individual class how can i empower them not just to do assignments that I offer, not just to jump through hoops that I or someone else offer, but to create their own goals and, and their own criteria for success. And actually, I kind of like, this is the final question. Is there anything you'd like to add that I did not um, ask in my questions? I think universities are a big business right now. They keep building and building and building, so they're doing well. But I also see so much innovation at the fringes. And I just, this institution that I love so much, I feel like in many cases, it's becoming less relevant, mm -hmm. and I'd like to see it be more student-centered and more relevant for the 21st century. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Wonderful.